Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing how I made these painted mason jars. I'll show you how I used my Cricut to make a stenciled leaf. This leaves a little window into the jar where you can see the tea light glowing inside. I have these on my fireplace mantle and I think they will look really cute as table centerpieces. First, I'll show you how I put together the leaf in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to upload my leaf. So I'll go to upload and I'll find my image. Here's my image. I'll just hit save and I'll import this into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller to see it easier. This is another SVG available for patrons and I always have that link for my Patreon account down below. So I've already measured my mason jars and I'm going to make it three inches by three inches. I'm making three mason jars so I'm going to duplicate this two times. This is going to be used as a stencil so it doesn't matter what color I use for the leaves. So I'll click on make it. I'm just going to move these out just a little bit. I'll hit continue. I'm using adhesive vinyl for this stencil so I'm going to search for vinyl. I'm just going to select the regular vinyl setting and the vinyl I'm using is Oracle 651 vinyl. Now we're ready to cut this out on my machine. I placed my vinyl on my mat. I'm using Oracle 651 vinyl. This maroon color came in a multi-pack and I've never found a use for that color. It doesn't matter what color you use for the vinyl because it is just acting as a stencil. Even though 651 is permanent vinyl, it still works to peel it off. I've never tried Oracle 631 vinyl as a stencil, but I'm sure that would work as well. Once the Cricut is done cutting the vinyl, I'll take the vinyl off the mat, cut out the design, and weed out the excess vinyl. I take the lids off the jars because I won't be needing those for this project. Next, I grab a paper towel and rubbing alcohol. I do not recommend skipping this step. This will help the paint adhere to the glass. After you've used the rubbing alcohol, be careful not to touch the glass with your fingers. I like to put my hand inside of the jar when I'm working with it. Then I grab my transfer tape and place it over my vinyl. I use the Duck brand contact paper from Amazon or Walmart for my transfer paper. I've tried other contact papers and they haven't worked, but the Duck brand works really well. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. I line up my leaf just a little above the center of my jar. Once it's lined up, I press the middle of the leaf first. Then I take my scraper tool and press the rest of the vinyl down. This helps to pre prevent me from touching the glass. I also just bought this XL scraper and I'm really loving it. I do the same thing for the other two mason jars and I reuse that same transfer sheet for the other two leaf decals. You can see here it was a little harder to get this onto the transfer tape since it was the third time I was using it. It really helps to turn the decal around and scrape the back of it. I'm using Waverly chalk paint which is usually my go-to paint. The colors I'm using is pumpkin which is perfect for fall, maize, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and moss. I used these foam brushes, but after painting these mason jars, I would actually recommend just regular paint brushes. The foam brushes seemed a little too rough, and when I was doing extra coats of paint, it was taking some of the paint off. I bought this paint tray off of Amazon and I just love it. I'll link this down below for you. I have also seen paint trays at the Dollar Tree, so definitely look out for those while you're there. 
I start painting my mason jars. You can see that it's a really light coat, so I did have to do several coats of paint. You can see here when I was painting over the jar, it was taking some of the paint off. I would recommend once again to use a regular paintbrush. I would also recommend waiting several hours for the paint to fully dry before doing a second coat. I ended up doing that and just adding paint over those spots that weren't fully covered. If anyone has any tips for painting over glass, let me know because that was a little bit difficult to get it fully coated with paint. Once the mason jars were all painted, I took my weeding tool to take off the vinyl stencil. I start at one of the corners and then just start peeling it away. I like to use Krylon Triple Thick to seal the painted jars. I found these flowers at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree flowers aren't as great of quality as Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and you can find those flowers on sale, but I still like the way that these turned out. I use my wire cutters to cut off the stems of the flowers. At first, I didn't cut the stems short enough because you could see them through the leaf, so I cut them a little shorter so you couldn't see those. I'm using LED tea light candles that I found at the Dollar Tree. It says each candle lasts 120 hours. My mason jars are tall, so I had a hard time getting the candle to land flat in the mason jar, so I ended up using my Cricut tweezers to get it to stand up straight, and that actually worked really well. I love how the candle gives that pretty glow through the leaf. I do the same thing for the other two mason jars. Mm -hmm. 
After I had the flowers in, I felt like it needed something else, so I grabbed some twine and wrapped that around the lids of the mason jars. I'm also thinking about going back and distressing them a little bit. I think it would give it a little extra touch. These were extremely fun to make and I love how they look on my fireplace. Give this video a thumbs up if it gave you some fall crafting inspiration. Subscribe if you're new to my channel for more videos like this one. Hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos and don't forget to check out my Patreon account in the description box below.